Hello everyone, Scorchet Psyche here. Today I'm going to showcase the Connected Villager Job Site Data Pack. This data pack is very useful for various situations due to the Villager AI being very weird when you're trying to set up Villager Professions. I'll do a quick demonstration first and then I'll go into more detail as to how the data pack works. So without further ado, let's get on it. So a situation where you want to use this data pack is when you're attempting to recreate this situation. Here we have 13 different workstations with 13 different villagers. Each villager here is assigned to a different workstation, the one that's in front of them. As you can see, each one of them has a different profession. And however, if I try to reproduce this Pretend that this is a trade center that I'm building. And now comes the time that I want to bring in all the villagers. So I'm going to start bringing in all of the villagers. I'm going to start placing them at their uh, cages, so to speak. And we're going to wait a little bit and see which workstations the AI will pick for them. If any at all, because there's also that case. So, as you can see, we have already the problem here that the workstations are not being picked up by the villagers. So, this is already one issue that the data pack tries to solve. These two villagers, you can see, there's another problem. They got the same workstation, so they have the same job. So, they claimed a workstation that was not close to them, that was not adjacent to them, and they got some random other workstation. So, for example, another here, another one here. So this villager picked this workstation instead of picking the cauldron and being a leather worker. So he's now a librarian and he won't be able to work because this workstation is too far away from him. So to fix this, all you have to do is install the data pack come in front of the villager that you want to fix the workstation for and trigger the command. As you can see, this villager is not a librarian anymore, he is now a leather worker and this was the workstation that was assigned to him. So this villager, for example, is still a nitwit, so I want him to pick this workstation. And as you can see, the data pack will highlight both the villager and the workstation and link them up so that you can visually see what's happening uh, with the data pack which entities it chose which blocks it chose and what changes it made so that's it so now to show how efficient and useful this data pack is i'm gonna do a quick pass here just to show you uh, how we can fix these villagers jobs very quickly for example this you can see is wrong he's a librarian he got this and this is a farmer he got this one so i'm gonna do a quick pass here using the data pack just to show how fast this can be and how convenient this can be for you I'm just doing a quick pass. The data pack always picks the villager that's closest to you, and then from that villager, it picks the workstation that's closest to him. Here, I don't have a workstation, and that's it. And that's fixed, and this is his workstation. So that's it. A very quick pass. I triggered the data pack for each one of them. And they're all fixed and my headaches are over. Now I'm gonna explain a little bit of how the data pack works so that you can do some fine tuning. So first off, the only positions that the data pack will detect the workstations on are these positions. They have to be adjacent to the villager and they have to be either to the north, south, east, or west position. From his current position, of course. So, for example, here I have 
a villager that's surrounded by four workstations. If I trigger the data pack here, you can see that it will assign only the this workstation. This workstation is positioned to the north. So there's an order that the data pack will get the workstations. So it's always north, south, east, west. So that's the order that the data pack will pick the workstations and it will ignore the other workstations. So as you can see, if there's four workstations surrounding the villager, the data pack will pick the north one first. And then I'm going to put some glasses here so that he doesn't move. And now I'm going to break this workstation. Now, if I execute the data pack now, what it will do is it will simply pick the south workstation. If I break the south workstation, it will pick the east one. And if I break the east one, it will pick the west one. And if I place again, for example, a workstation on the north side, it will pri prioritize in that order. So we'll pick the north one. If I place one on the east side, it will pick the one on the east side, even though there's still one on the west side. Uh, so that's the order that the data pack picks the workstations. So this priority order can be very useful when you're designing a villager trade center. Let's say that, for example, I want to build this specific layout and I want to be able to come in here, uh, walk, in, walk in on this side and do the trades with the villagers. And then when I'm done, I just want to walk out the other, the other side. Due to the priority order that I just explained, uh, that the data pack will prioritize first the north position, then the south east and west you can come in here and trigger the data pack for each one of these villagers without them having uh, without them being confused about which workstation they want to pick for their job so for example as you can see the data pack always will pick the north side uh, workstation first and then south east and west so since this is first this will not conflict there will not be a conflict when you run the trigger the same goes for this side it goes north south east west so west is the last position that the data packs the data pack will look for a workstation so we will always pick pick the south one first so as you can see there is no conflict and the data pack is correctly picking the workstation of course based on this simple layout i made you can make much more complex layouts uh, if you have if you keep this priority order in your mind so guys i think that that's it so if you have any other questions suggestions either for this data pack or other ideas that you would like implemented uh, I'll leave some links down in the show notes below and you can get in touch with us. Uh, so, and if you could also please leave feedback on the comments, uh, like the video and uh, if, if you like the content, like the video, if you like the, the, the data pack uh, so that we can improve this. So, thanks for watching.